All right, y'all, so in my last video, my CPU was overheating and I fixed that with an air cooler, but I randomly went to their website of the same company and found out they had a water cooler for 15 more bucks. So I figured, why not? So in this video, we're gonna install this and see how it works. Okay, so what we have is a water cooler, also known as an all-in-one, and the way it works is pretty simple. So this is a pump that connects directly to the CPU and inside this pump and this radiator sits water. So this pump is circulating water and as the CPU heats up, hot water enters this radiator. These fans are used to blow air through the radiator to cool it off. And then the returning water is cooled off back to the CPU and the cycle keeps going and going to keep down the CPU. So let's get this installed and uh, this should be a pretty easy install. Oh, and another thing, the cooler comes with a series of brackets that need to install into this case. Okay, so I've taken off the old cooler, cleaned off the CPU. First things first, I gotta get this bracket in. So. There's two different brackets, one for Intel processors and one for AMD. I'm gonna show you the AMD bracket. So for AMD, we need to screw in these supports into all four of the holes in the back of the case. So on this cooler, we're actually gonna install a bracket that goes here and there. We're gonna make sure not to touch this interior paste. They pre-paste it for you. And then that bracket is what's gonna connect back there. And you can see, this is exactly how the bracket will fit once I remove this plastic and screw it down. See our four brackets? We want to line it up with these four poles. Then we have some screw downs to put in. Okay, as we can see, got it all screwed down. As I said before, it came with its own thermal paste. Now I need to mount the fans to this radiator. Mounting the fans is pretty easy, but the rule of thumb is whichever side has the frame, that's the side that the air is pulling towards. So we're gonna flip it this way because we want to pull it towards the radiator once this is installed. And also mental note of which side this radiator would be facing backwards because that's where you want these cables to come out of. For here, we have these really long screws that we're gonna use and it already lines up perfectly with these four holes for each fan. Okay, now that we have all the fans mounted, we want to flip this and mount this to the top of the case. So as you can see, the slits in here where the radiator should fit. And as you can see right here and there, this is where these fans line up. Then I got a few screws in, very loose. So I can slide this back and forth. And now I can get a look at the system and decide, okay, where do I want this mounted? So I lowered the fan and boom, perfect L shape. Now I can come up here, tighten all these screws and add even more. And we should be done with the install part. Okay, now we gotta get these wires going. And this is gonna be a little bit of a chore. So coming out the main pump, we're gonna have an RGB strip, a connector, our main system pump connector. By the way, they give you a nice little adapter so you can plug one fan into here, one fan into here, and then both of these can go into your CPU fan header. So similar to the CPU fans, the RGB also has a daisy chain function. You can take two, plug into one, and then just have one to finish off the uh, connections. So it's a bit difficult to see, but on my motherboard, I have CPU fan one on this side, and on the other side of the uh, memory sticks, I have pump fan one. If we have it, we got all our wires together. I'm gonna boot this up and pray that it kicks back on. Okay, we good. And one last finishing touch. Got the top back on. Everything looking nice. Colors all around. So I love the aesthetics of it, but I've been gaming for about an hour. And yeah, I've been keeping the temp between 55 and 60. So overall, I love how it looks and that's the real reason I did it. So yeah, stay tuned. As you can see, I have an idea, I'm gonna do it. So let's see what comes up next. One thing I really like about this build is everything is located to one little spot. And I'm starting to wonder, could I build this in a smaller case? Who knows, stay tuned.